Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are making a video on five tips for solo progressing in GPL. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so this is tip number one and it's probably the most important tip for specifically leveling in this game. The tip is that you can hit NPCs and players in general through a wall. Now that might seem kind of obvious, but the reason why this is good is because the enemies can't hit you back through a wall. So if you're on an island that has some walls near some NPCs, if you can aggro the NPCs, bring them up close to the wall, and then you jump over the wall, you can hit them through the wall. But it is important to note with this technique that you can't hit them with the just fist or black leg. You need either a sword or a fruit or a move from your style that can go, you know, longer than just a regular um, M1 range with fist or black leg. Okay, next up, tip number two is really just important items that you're going to need for your leveling. The first um, item is a rifle. You can get this from Town of Beginnings and... It's really good. It doesn't deal that much damage because you need to put points into it to do upgrade the damage. But it's very good for aggroing enemies, especially if you're going to be hitting them through the wall. It's very good for aggroing enemies and aggroing multiple enemies at the same time. The next item is a caravel. I'm going to put up the island that you can get this from. This is just the fastest boat that you can get without um, a game pass or beating a boss like the Valentine's Day event. So this is just the fastest boat. It does cost a little bit of money, so if you're just starting out, you won't be able to get it. But this is uh, the best boat in the game. The next up is a sword. I'll put the island where you can get this as well. And sword's really important. Even if you don't put any points on sword, it's good just to have a sword. Swords have uh, more block, I'm pretty sure, and the reason why I would recommend it for leveling, not really for the block, but more for, it helps you hit enemies through the wall. So if you have a style like black leg and you can't really hit enemies that well, if maybe you don't have uh, the X move, if you get a sword, it helps you hit the enemies through the wall, and um, swords just deal extra damage, so swords are very good. The other good items, I won't really be talking about them in this video, but, you know, some boss drops, those are good, but you don't really want to farm bosses at low levels, it's not very efficient, so you want to wait until your high level and boss drops can be added to the list of items that are important to get for leveling. Okay, so the third tip is to make sure that your build is good for farming. Now, this is very important. It's honestly better to save yourself the couple of hours having a good build and maybe having to spend 75 Robux when you're max level to reset your build rather than having a bad build and it taking very long to level up. Now, what do I mean by a good build? Um, a good build usually has certain moves. So, for example, Rokushiki is not a good style to go for leveling. It has not many offensive moves and the moves can only hit one enemy. Black leg is very good for farming because um, your X move party table can hit through the wall and it's just very good for leveling because it can hit multiple enemies at the same time and it's also very good against one enemy if you can use your moves like uh, your R to uh, extend your combos. Um, other things, any type of fruit in the game except for suke is really good for leveling. Um, one sword style is good for leveling, but I, w I don't think it's better than black leg. Um, make sure you don't put like too many points into certain stats. You want a lot of health and a lot of stamina so you can get bow if you hit black leg, but you don't want too much health because then you won't be able to kill the enemies. But you also don't want too much damage because it's really bad when you have a lot of damage, but you're getting one shot by the enemies and you have to keep respawning so make sure you have a good style if you have a fruit have a good have just eat a fruit so you can use those abilities and also make sure your points are in the right places 
Okay, this fourth tip might seem really obvious, but it's actually really important for leveling. So, if you have any type of fruit, any fruit in the game, except for suke, because that doesn't really do anything, make sure that you eat it. And um, this is before update 4, when the new comments come out. I'm not sure if those will be good enough for leveling, but I do know that any of the fruits that are in the game, as of making this video, are good enough that you should eat them if that's your only option. Even if they're rare, they're better than having no fruit because a lot of those moves are big AOE moves that can hit through walls and stuff like that. So make sure that you eat a fruit if you have any. Don't worry about having to reset it because um, you know that it will just save you so much time where the resetting your fruit won't really matter. Um, almost every fruit is good at leveling, uh, good for um, leveling. All the Logias are good because the NPCs can't hit you. Um, Bomb is really good for leveling. Probably one of the best leveling fruits of the game. Um, any fruit is better than having no fruit, and that's really what's important. I know this video is about solo progressing in GPO. If you don't have anybody to play with, you just want to uh, level up by yourself. But... If there happens to be somebody at your island around your level doing the same quest as you, make sure that you party up with them. And um, this is really important. I mean, not everybody's going to want to party with you, but it's way easier to farm NPCs if there's two people and you're in a party than it is if there is one person. And if you're in a party with somebody, you can't deal damage to them. So if you're using your big AOE moves, you're not going to hurt them. So make sure that you party up. Make sure that you try to work with people that are at the same level as you if you manage to run to him in the game. And that will really help you just level up faster because it's way easier and you're going to die less times. Okay, those are my five solo progression tips. Uh, I leveled up completely solo. Obviously, I party with some people, but I leveled up solo. This is what I did. Some tips that I use. And um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, you know, tell me a comment, something that you did when you were leveling up, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Also, I, I'm going to stream tomorrow and the next day, so make sure to tune in the streams. It should be around 11 a.m. EST. That's when I plan to stream, so yeah.